Right now, we are looking at the standard user interface of AppDynamics. What we see is an AppDynamics dashboard aggregating health information for the target application. And uh, on-demand loans applications, in our case, clearly experience some performance issues. Let's investigate what happens clipping on the application name. And now we see application flow map for uh, this application on-demand loans. And on the right, we see a business transaction health indicator that tells us there are some uh, health rule violations uh, detected when monitoring performance of our application. Let's drill down further. Now we see uh, that the specific application transaction authorized loans is uh, red. A significant percentage, 5% of uh, all the transaction executions are very slow. Uh, so why does this happen? What is the true root cause of the slowdown? Uh, one more click. And we see events associated with this performance issue. We see the health rule uh, violation itself. And we see as well, several actual changes detected by Evolven and correlated with the investigated issue. Evolven found that the logging level of the application server was uh, changed to trace. This means that the server spends a lot of time reporting extensive amounts of information. There is also a change detected in, uh, in the code of a database stored procedure. Um, I definitely want to understand that this change in uh, greater depth. And so I go to the change uh, details and switch to the comments tab. That's where Evolven uh, left uh, a deep link that will take us to the Evolven user interface for further investigation. Using a, a deep link, I jumped into Evolven, and the first thing I see is the topology of the slow uh, transaction. Uh, Evolven retrieved uh, this topology from AppDynamics and enhanced it with its own information about various uh, environment uh, components. Like, for example, we can see that middleware uh, in the middleware of the transaction, we have two application servers, uh, Tomcat servers, and then um, you know, the red server, the server where we detected a uh, a uh, risky change that can explain the slowdown uh, runs Tomcat on top of uh, Microsoft Windows. And we can see all the Tomcat components as well as uh, what happened, you know, change-wise and configuration-wise in uh, Windows as well. And uh, we use the topologies that uh, we created uh, as one of the correlation algorithms to link actual changes detected by Evolven with the possible locations of the issue uh, identified by AppDynamics. So at the bottom of the screen, we see the same changes that were reported to AppDynamics. And we see, for example, uh, you know, let's go back to the change in the logging settings. Uh, we can see here additional information that would be quite important uh, when we are investigating the change. Like for example, we can see, and click on trace as a previous value uh, of the setting was error. So uh, the uh, application server was not reporting pretty much anything um, until the change was made and the performance was fine. Uh, we also see that we have two Tomcat application servers. And in the consistency column, we can see that the colors are different. One of the box representing first server uh, is uh, green and another is yellow. Like, why is that? Because the uh, value, as you can see, value in, uh, in the second server remained error. Only one server was changed. And we also see that the change was executed uh, manually without any approval, any uh, change request or any authorized deployment that would justify this kind of change. So kind of interpreting this change, I can tell that a developer was investigating some issue on Tomcat and uh, turn on the log uh, for debugging purposes and just forgot to turn it off, a very common issue. So what can we do about this uh, change? Clearly, we need to remediate it. This is the first thing I would like to do like one option, you know, if uh, your environment supports automatic remediation and you use uh, uh, such uh, uh, automated uh, deployment and uh, configuration management tools like uh, Puppet, Chef, Ansible, um, uh, or anything else uh, uh, of this type, uh, we can actually generate a relevant asset like a Puppet Manifest or uh, Ansible Playbook. At, to uh, initiate a, a remediation of the particular configuration setting. Uh, you know, if it's a traditional idle process, you can actually open a change request in the service now uh, that will uh, ask for remediating uh, this particular change. Uh, or you can also open a, a ticket uh, in service now, again, in any uh, other 
uh, ticketing system uh, you are using and uh, requesting uh, uh, additional investigation. Again, Evolvent can be tailored uh, to support your specific process. Uh, but I also saw that uh, there was a change in the uh, code of stored or database store procedure, and I can see it, this change. And uh, what actually this change is about, let me uh, understand. And I'm clicking on the value of the change, and I can see uh, the real modification of the code that was executed. So the particular select as the option recompile was removed, uh, was added, sorry. And uh, as a result, you know, the particular SQL will be executed uh, uh, slower. Um, you know, this is something that uh, might be impacting the transaction, and this is for a, a developer to say. And uh, if uh, I'm uh, not familiar with the specific store procedure with the code, it's not uh, my responsibility. I just uh, know the skills that I have. I can generally go and uh, uh, share information about this change uh, with a specific expert and ask for an answer uh, uh, if this change could be a root cause uh, of the issue we are investigating. So to summarize, uh, we started investigation in uh, AppDynamics that identify the performance slowdown. And we saw that there are some changes uh, that could be explaining the slowdown, could be a true root causes behind the slowdown. We jumped into Evolving to investigate these uh, changes in greater depth. Uh, and uh, we can take an action on those changes uh, if we believe that uh, they are the true root causes. Now, at the same time, uh, Changes like those uh, don't cause immediate slowdown, right? You know, when you are changing a, a log level, it might take time before the uh, um, performance will really slow down. And uh, this time lag could be used to prevent the incident. So Evolven also has a proactive side uh, where it assesses the risk, proactively assesses the risk of the changes. And you can see in the following uh, evolving dashboard that could be exported into AppDynamics as well, uh, that uh, Evolven uh, sees the same applications and uh, uh, reports uh, risky changes that maybe didn't cause uh, a performance or availability issue yet, uh, but Evolven identified them as the changes that have a potential, that have a high likelihood of causing such an issue. So uh, you can actually drill down into these changes before they caused uh, an issue. And we can go focus on the risky changes only. And uh, we can see what these changes are, why Evolven identifies them as risky. And we can again take an action on the changes to prevent an incident. 